Hey friends, I am Leslie Tucker, better known as a reseller's passion, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to just be really laid back. I'm going to be sitting in this chair. Hmm, maybe I'll move around a little bit, but I wanted to share with you my reselling story. I've been on a lot of lives lately, either IG or YouTube. I have a couple more scheduled for the coming weeks, and I've been telling my story a little bit, and it seems to resonate with people. So I figured, you know, why not sit down? It's been a long time. Um, I'm like 202 videos in. Why not share that story with you? And here goes. Hey friends, yes, coffee. <laughs> Look at this great mug though. I found this at Goodwill. Um, just randomly and it didn't have a ticket on it or anything so I took it up to the counter and asked how much this is and it was 99 cents now it look it has like a lip on top so it looks like a lid or something was supposed to fit in but I really like it and it's the perfect size for me two of these in the morning get me going uh, you know the little mugs are a little challenging for me um, <laughs> some of the promotional mugs and like the Poshmark little mug I don't use it. I actually, I'm growing a plant in it. Don't tell Poshmark. But this right here is like the perfect um, cup of coffee. So if you don't know anything about me, again, my name is Leslie and I do like coffee. I am married to Thomas and Thomas is a retired firefighter. And together we have a blended family of 10. Yes, I said 10. I gave five birth to five and Thomas came into relationship with five a couple of them were adults <laughs> and when we moved together I moved in with my four children and I tell you all this just to lead up to my story of reselling and I started reselling because my husband was a reseller that always surprises people I don't know why I don't know with all the men in this community who resell why does it surprise people when I say my husband's a reseller or I take photos of him on his truck and he has a clean out business and he does, does so much. But I'm going to back up. So when I married Thomas, again, I came into a relationship with four children. My oldest daughter, number five, was an adult already. She was living on her own. And so I was working. I had to have a job. Thomas was a retired firefighter. I didn't know him when he was um, firefighting. Um, you know, we've been married for nine years. We just celebrated our anniversary actually this week on November 16th. So we met nine years ago and we married three months later. So I didn't know him uh, in his journey. He was living here in Delaware already. And um, when we got married, he was doing his thing and I was going to work. And he was going to, which better known as the Benz, the Goodwill Outlet, which we had already been going to. So the Goodwill outlet was already part of our life. That was actually, I tell this, and people think it's so funny. Thomas took me to the outlet as a date. He was like, oh, I wanna take you somewhere. My husband is truly <laughs> like a Fred Sanford type. He rides around in a truck and is always packed with something. So when I met him, he was already like thrifting everything in his apartment was from the Goodwill or the Goodwill outlet or something that he you know, got for free or whatever. So. You know, and I, that's how I lived as well. Great dressers, you know, really good wood and stuff. So he took me to the Goodwill outlet and he's like, you know, we were going around and it was like, great. And then just before I moved here to Delaware, they opened a brand new one. So literally eight years ago, we were experiencing the, the Goodwill outlet opening, you know, firsthand. And I've seen the progression of how it's grown with people really getting into business. So I wanted to do something that just kind of keep us because we were, he was going his way, I was going my way. I would get home from work, I would be tired. Um, I didn't know what was going on. When I met him, he was selling on eBay and selling books on Amazon. And so I said to him, you know, show me what you're, what you're doing. And I didn't know where that would take me. I just knew that I wanted to do, have something more in common with him. I mean, we have a lot in common, you know, our love of music, love of anything Marvel, DC Comics, kind of, sort of, but like sci-fi, Star Trek, all that kind of stuff like that. So that is what kind of, you know, brought us together because there's like a, you know, um, a, almost a 12-year gap in our age. And um, so we have to have these things to keep us kind of, you know, like look solidified. So I thought reselling would be the perfect thing. And never did I know it would turn into such an awesome thing. So when I started reselling, I started selling in 
April of 2016. Thomas was already again selling on eBay. And you know, it was really weird. He never seemed happy about it. Like he would always complain about this app called eBay. And I knew eBay because I would shop on eBay, but I was never a seller and I had an account. And so I was like, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Is there something, is there another place I could sell and kind of have the same results? And then I remembered at his aha moment, my sister told me about Poshmark in 2015. So fast forward to a year later, I said, let me try Poshmark. And I also, I started Poshmark in this other app called Vinted at the same time. And I was starting to kind of sell on both of them. And this is the funny thing. I didn't source for a while. Thomas did all my sourcing for me. So when he sold on eBay, he only sold men's clothes. So you're telling a person who specifically sells men's clothes and shoes, okay, now start looking for some women's clothes for me. And he would bring me some stuff home. <laughs> he would bring me, like back then, um, which I didn't appreciate it then, but he would bring me like vintage stuff. He would give me like, you know, half of like his dance clothes because that's like a big seller shoe that he, that he sells, a big shoe name that he sells. And I was just putting stuff on Poshmark for little to no money, like dance clothes. I think the first thing I ever sold was a pair of dance clothes. And I say $5 sometime when I talk about what it sold for, but I think it's 10. And so I literally let those dance clothes go. And I put them in a box, I shipped them off, and that one sale was a one-star sale <laughs> because I just threw them in a box. I didn't put them in, I didn't put anything else in them, and the box, I didn't put any, you know, filling in there so things wouldn't move around, and they told me that my packaging was awful, and you know what I did with that? I said, you know what? They're right. There was nothing to fight. There was no emotional um, investment in that. My first sale those customers were right. So I worked each day to just become better. And then also in this journey, it was only a hobby. No intention, no intention whatsoever of selling like a business. I wanted, I made, I realized that I could make some extra money. I made enough money to pay for my daughter's lunch um, at the time. I probably didn't mention I was a lunch lady in our local school district. And when my daughter went off to high school, she got accepted into one of the number one schools here in Delaware. And so she wasn't no longer part of my lunch um, program. So I she had to buy lunch, which was more expensive. And because she was the youngest and the other kids had endured, you know, the free lunch and all the stuff that our, our school district Put you through. I wanted her to be able to buy anything that she wanted. So I would just take le leg legitimately most of my earnings and push it onto her lunch account. <laughs> and then I was like, I can use this to get myself some coffee. I literally pass by, uh, the postal truck went by. I literally put, pass by Wawa every single day. So that would allow me on a Friday to either stop in the morning or stop on my way home and treat myself to a cup of coffee and maybe a special treat at Wawa. And that was the beginning of my selling, literally giving things away. Um, I was so happy if it sold new tags. If you go through my Poshmark closet now, um, I would take pictures through the app and use the filters. I did the whole thing that new people do. I started at the very beginning, just like everyone else does. So you'll probably hear my train. No matter what I do, it's always going by. I try to time things in a certain way, but the train still comes. So I literally, in the beginning, again, it was just a hobby. I didn't know that it would get me to this place right here. So Thomas literally sourced for me for about three to six months. I didn't, even though the outlet was a place that we shopped, that was a normal place for us. Our, our girls liked it. They would get a cart and they could just go through the bins and find all the clothes that they needed for the school year. So that was exciting. So that was part of our life. It wasn't even the bins back then. I didn't learn anything about the bins until I got deep into the community. So I Thomas sourced for me. He would bring me stuff home. I would look at it. If I didn't like it, I would say to him, yeah, probably not so much. But then if I knew I could sell it, I would just take pictures and put it on the app. Um, I let Vinted go because it was just too much because I was working. And by this time, I had gotten promoted as a supervisor and been given my own kitchen. Again, I was a lunch lady, so I became a supervisor. And I really didn't have the time. But again, I wanted to do things with him. Now, the cool thing about being a lunch lady was I was able to work my business during the times I was off. So, you know, 
a lunch lady is off when the students are off. Even if it was, even when teachers are in school, um, we don't work, lunch ladies don't work when there are no students in the school, except for those days when they have to clean their kitchen or anything like that, or when they're prepping to go back. So when students were off, I was off. And that was the great thing about doing that because I was off when my children were off. Um, not my youngest daughter because she was in a different school district. So those the holiday times is when I really worked my business and Thomas and I we then I started kind of getting up and going to the outlet with him and in the summers I would run my business all summer long and then in August it would slow down because I wouldn't have time and so I started really thinking what could I do with this business and I started getting serious and then I started going sourcing and I started watching videos and I started learning brands and I started learning about shoes and clothes and styles um, because I'm an everyday kind of girl where I just like a good t-shirt some jeans and converse that's me a nice jean jacket a nice crochet hat for the winter time no big deal so I really had to dig deep and then I started you know you know watching videos and decided you know what this is something that I can do and it, it was fun and I try to do things that are fun even though I'm making money I don't want to be stressed about it because working my job I was really really stressed so going forward I made a commitment to really work this business and Poshmark really was so easy now I started in 2016 four photos right? A lot of crazy filters. There wasn't a lot of sharing the way that it is. There were no bundles. There were no offer to likers. It was a lot of, I was like at the very end of the beta testing stage. The year that I started was the same year that men and children's categories came on. And I've seen a lot of progress, a lot progress since then. So I started growing my business. Fast forward two years later in April of 2018, when I decided that I could do this full time, and I sat down and I created a plan, which I did, I opened up additional bank accounts. And I sat down with my husband, Thomas, and I said, you know, would it be okay if, if I took this business and made it full time and left work? And he said, yes, just make sure you have like some emergency, an emergency fund. And his requirement was $1,000. And so I made that $1,000 first, had that in the account. And then after that, I sat down and drafted out a six month plan for myself where I wanted to be free from my job in six months. And at that time, that was by December. That was by like once the Christmas holiday happened, I would not go back to school. I would have given my notice and they knew to hire someone else in my position. And so I also decided to open up two eBay stores right away. What crazy person does that? One eBay store, I was selling all jeans. And then the second eBay store, I was selling everything. Now, mind you, we were already going to the bins, so I could go to the bins just to kind of get started in the beginning. Once a week, getting two and three Ikea bags. And I live local to two bins, so I would go to the big one one time, and then I would go to the smaller one, which was connected to a retail store, get 50 pounds from the bins, put that stuff in the car, and then go into the retail store and get some selected items. And that's where my business, when I became a business owner, in April 2018. Fast forward to June 2018, school let out for the summer. So I knew I had the summer to kind of really work my business and I delved in deep. I was making great money on eBay. Poshmark was growing for me. So from June, July, and I knew by the first week in August that I could take this business and totally be full time. So my six month plan became a three month plan. On August 17th, 2018, I said in my, sent in my letter of resignation and the rest is history. And it's been such an awesome experience since. I really, really worked my business like crazy, building my eBay. And then one day I told myself, if I could, if I, I don't really like eBay that much. eBay is just a, ends, a means to an end, but I like Poshmark. And I was like, if I can make this money on eBay, I could probably do it on Poshmark. And so I started putting an equal amount of time in Poshmark. And then by the end of the year, I've made really great money. The Christmas holiday hits Q4. Right after the holiday, it kind of pauses. And I had time to reflect. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm bored. I'm lonely. I don't know anyone. I didn't have any friends. And everything, this journey that I'm on here started in 2019. I started the YouTube channel, started making videos. People started responding. I moved everything over to 
IGTV, started getting my account going, changed my name, started growing that, started attending Posh and Sips, which are the local um, parties, I mean, the local um, gatherings and networking that Poshmark puts together, went to Posh Party Live, two of them went to Posh Fest, met people, I started a podcast, and to 2020, jumped back here on YouTube, started making videos, and that's my story. I don't always like reselling and you can I'll probably put it up um, at the end where you can click to watch the video where I talked about how I don't like reselling but then I also have another video that talks about how reselling has changed my life I've been able to build a, a fantastic community with all of you and people who continue to support me and just love on me and push me outside of my comfort zone and then in turn you allow me to push you and push you outside of your comfort zone and it's just been a great journey and I wanted to sit here and share it and hopefully I didn't ramble, but it has been such an awesome experience to know everyone and to get to know more people. So if you want to get to know me better, leave a comment below or send me a DM on Instagram at a reseller's passion. Man, I'm loving life and I'm loving, you know, friends and all the things that are happening because of this reselling journey. And that's my story. Boring as it may be, I wanted to share that because I also want to continue to put out content Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I didn't have a, um, my throat was a little sore and I have a little chest congestion. So I didn't want to do the the other um, video, but I'm going to be doing an, a video about how to start an ebook. So I thank you so much for listening and always supporting me. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, just my reselling story. Hope I didn't ramble on. If you love this kind of ramble, <laughs> consider subscribing, <laughs> giving me a thumbs up, hitting the bell, bing, 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 and consider joining my membership group. Um, I'll be doing a lot of this in the membership group. I would love to just like, you know, sit back and chill and have conversation. I don't want anything that everything to be so serious. So if you don't want to be so serious and you want to spend time with me, Join my membership group. It starts at $2.99. I'll be doing behind the scenes and I'll be bringing people on live and we're going to be having some fun. So I hope to see you in the group. Take care, friends.